Bobby had a point of view, and Bobby had a great wit. And uh, he, he did uh, a Talking New York blues on his first album. And uh, he had hung around a lot with Woody Guthrie. And he, you know, he identified uh, with the underprivileged and the downtrodden, but he did it with great wit and humor. And, uh, Did you have a hard time selling him to the record executive? Oh, hopeless. I mean, they said, well, uh, he was called Hammond's Folly. I mean, they, they, they were, uh, <laughs> there was one, there was a vice president there who was so angry with me because he knew this was going to louse up CBS's name, you know. The, the voice was so terrible and the... Uh, Not uh, a great guitar player. No, no, no but, but uh, it didn't matter. Uh, he was an original, and you know that's what that's what you gotta look for, you know, uh, in an artist. Did you ever, for a moment, have any doubts that Dylan would become the force that? None he whatsoever. Did? They tried to they tried to uh, they tried to fire him after his first album, and I said, over my dead body. This is one time I did win, did win. You on. said of if course, he goes, you go. Oh, I, I I said if he goes, I I, I will absolutely I'll, I'll you know I'll, I'll leave, of course. I want to hear your, your... I was a very lucky guy, though. I was a guy who had, uh, uh, who had discovered the president of Columbia Records, a guy called Goddard Leverson. You I discovered got, him as well? Yeah, I got him his job in 1939. So I did have a little cushion to fall back on there. <laughs>